Intel Arc GPUs exciting news and price drops. Hey everyone, I have some incredible news to share with you today about Intel GPUs. There have been massive price drops that you won't believe, making many other GPUs on the market seem irrelevant. But that's not all. I also have some new and exciting information about the Battle Mage. So let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the amazing price drops. The Intel Arc A750 GPU, for example, is now available for just $200. And there are rumors that the Arc A770 with 16GB of memory might fall to $300. These prices are unbelievable. If you're looking to buy a GPU under $400, I highly recommend the Arc A750. It's an absolute steal at that price. Now, let's discuss why the Arc A750 is such a great choice. Not only is it cheaper than recently announced GPUs like the RX 7600 and RTX 4060, but its performance is incredibly competitive. In fact, it's much faster than when it was first launched. Today, I would say the Arc A750 is closer in performance to an RTX 3060 Ti, so, getting it for just $200 is an absolute steal. Now, let's compare the Arc A750 to the newer cards from AMD and Nvidia. The Arc A750 has more cores and, more importantly, much higher memory bandwidth than its competitors. It has a 256-bit bus compared to the 128-bit bus on the RTX 4060 and RX 7600. This means the Arc A750 can handle data much faster, giving it a significant advantage. If we look at the theoretical performance in terms of teraflops, the Arc A750 also comes out on top with 17.2 teraflops compared to 15.1 teraflops for the RTX 4060 and 10.7 teraflops for the RX 7600. While we can't directly compare these cards due to different architectures, it gives us a rough idea of their performance levels. In summary, the Arc A750 is an excellent choice that will age like fine wine. With its competitive performance, great price, and future-proof features like high memory bandwidth, it will continue to shine in the years to come. The Arc A770, with its 16GB of video memory, is also worth considering, as it will excel in games that require more memory. So, if you're looking for a new GPU, I highly recommend checking out the Intel Arc A750. It's a fantastic deal that you shouldn't miss. But I genuinely believe this is the best option available right now. I have some updates on the Intel Battle Mage GPUs. Surprise, motherfucker! Recent information suggests that the performance of these GPUs could be even higher than initially predicted, while the power consumption is expected to decrease. In terms of specifications, they are expected to have double the specs of the Arc A770, with a potential clock speed of up to 3 GHz. The memory is likely to be 16 GB with a 256-bit bus, providing sufficient memory bandwidth for the intended performance level. There are two potential memory options, G7 at 32 gigabits per second or G6 from Samsung at 24 gigabits per second. The latter seems more likely due to cost effectiveness. With G6, the Battle Mage GPUs could achieve 768 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, which is 50% more than the Arc A770. To optimize memory bandwidth further, the cache per core might be increased to 64 megabytes. The expected TDP for the Battle Mage GPUs is 320 watts, targeting the performance level of an RTX 4080. It is uncertain whether they will surpass the RTX 4080 or fall slightly short, as it depends on final clock speeds and drivers. Theoretical compute performance suggests a 2.5 times increase compared to the Arc A770, translating to around a 2x increase in gaming performance. This would place the Battle Mage GPUs above an RTX 4070 Ti and potentially closer to an RTX 4080. If the Battle Mage GPUs deliver on their promises and are priced around $600 or even lower, it could create significant competition for Nvidia.
Nvidia would likely be forced to either lower prices or refresh their existing lineup to remain competitive. In summary, the Battle Mage GPUs from Intel hold great potential to challenge Nvidia's dominance in the market. Their increased performance and competitive pricing could cause major issues for Nvidia, necessitating adjustments in their pricing or product offerings. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the information. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated and it helps us continue creating informative videos like this one. Stay tuned for more updates and exciting tech discussions. Thank you once again and have a wonderful day.